Hello and welcome to a video on naming different parts of a circle. Now it can be quite tricky trying to remember all of the different names and some of them are very similar but um, I do have a few tricks um, and tips to remember the different names. So there are eight, eight uh, different parts of a circle in total that you will come across. Some of them you may already know, some of them um, you may not have heard of before but uh, hopefully when we get to the end of this video you will you'll be able to remember all eight of them. So let's start with this one over here. So we've got a line that goes from the center of our circle all the way to the edge of our circle. So it's a, it's a, it's a line that goes halfway across our circle. This is called a radius. So this is called a radius of the circle and this is probably the most important sort of one that we use or the one that we use most commonly because it relates to calculating areas of circles. So that is called the radius. This one here, well this one just goes from the edge of a circle all the way to the other edge but one key point is that it always goes through the centre. So if that's our centre of our circle, the line goes from one end to the other through the centre and that is called the diameter. Diameter. Now before I go on to the next one, a lot of people do get confused between these two. They get them the wrong way round. An easy way to remember which one is which is that the word diameter, you can see it's longer than the word radius. So the line is longer than this line here. So that's how I like to remember it. Now this one here, so it's pointing at the edge, but what we're actually looking at is the total distance around the outside of our circle. So if I were to measure this distance here, all the way from start to finish, all the way around the outside, this is called the circumference. Circumference. And a way to remember this is that this is longer than the diameter and the radius, and the word's longer. Notice each one, the line's getting longer and longer, and the word's getting longer and longer. So uh, this is called the circumference. Sounds a bit like, you know, you're putting a fence around the circle. So that, again, that's, a, that's another way I like to remember the name, is if you're putting a fence around the circle, it's, it sounds similar to circumference. Um, but yeah, you know, you might find that weird, but um, that's just how I like to remember it. Okay, now this next one here. So we've got a straight line, and it's quite hard to see on this diagram, but it just touches the circle at exactly one point. So it doesn't quite look it on the circle. So let's let's do it over here. So if I were to draw a straight line, if I were to draw a straight line, now I'm not I'm not gonna. It's, this isn't a this isn't what we're looking at. It's if we keep going and we just touch it at one point. So just this point here, just label it. So that point there the line is touching the circle but at no other point is the line touching the circle so it's not touching 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 and then it touches and then not touching not touching not touching not touching not touching not touching and so on so it only touches the circle at exactly one point and this line is called a tangent so this is called a tangent Okay, I'm not sure how I like to remember that name, but um, it's just called a tangent. So that's all you need to know. Okay, this next one here. So it's um, it looks like a bit of a slice of a pie or a slice of a pizza. We had pizza yesterday, so which, which is why I'm rem remembering that. So this is a slice of a pizza, pe no, not a pizza, a pizza, and this is called a sector. So we would say a sector of a circle. Now. You, you would see this sort of um, picture quite often, but it can be any size. So let me just, um, on this diagram, so let's just change colour, let's do it in red. So what a sector is, is if I draw a, a radius in, if I draw a radius in and another radius, I can make it any size. So I could make it like this size, but I could also sort of make it this size. So all of this here, this would be a sector. It's just a very large sector. So, um, you know, and I can even do, if I draw a line straight down. So if I draw a circumference, uh, not a circumference, if I draw a diameter, notice we've got a, a sector here. So a sector 
you know it can be a slither it can be it can be something like this so this is a this is a sector um but all it is is if you've got a radius and another radius and it's just the area from those two radii to the circumference of the circle so it can be any size and usually if it's bigger than half so let's say let's say we've got this sector here okay we would call that a major sector and this sector over here that would be a minor sector so this is a major sector and a minor sector but you don't really need to know those terms um the, the main thing is just to know that it's called a sector okay this next one is one of my favorites now the reason why this is one of my favorite parts of the circle is because it always reminds me of this now this if you don't already know is a terry's chocolate orange and um, i always remember the adverts years ago with dawn french in where you she used to say they're not terry's they're mine and she used to gobble them all up now these pieces of chocolate that we've got are known as segments so if i just outline one of them you can see that it is exactly the same shape as what we've got over here and i've kind of given away the name of this part of the circle it's called a segment so just think of a segment of terry's chocolate orange so that's how i always like to remember this segment and again just like these two the sector and the segment can be very confusing a lot of people get these the wrong way round so i always think of a segment of terry's chocolate orange to remember that this one is the segment and this one is the sector okay let's move on to the next one so what we've got is a line that goes from one side of our circle to the other and you can see that these two are very much linked together because this line encloses our segment so we've got a line from here to here and this is called a chord Okay, so whenever we've got a line that goes from one side of our circle to the other, we call that a chord. So I could do one up here. So I could do a much smaller chord here. Two chords here. Now the diameter, you can see that that also goes from one side of our circle to the other. But that's a special type of chord because it goes through the center. So we could also refer to this as a chord, but we usually just say a diameter. Okay. Now, how do I remember the name chord? Well, um, the way I like to remember it, is I think if we were to draw a few more chords in, let's just draw another one. And again, please forgive my bad drawing. These should obviously be straight lines. Now, if we were to draw six of these in, it would sort of resemble the center of a guitar, I think anyway. And obviously when you're playing a guitar, you play different chords, so different combinations of notes. So that's how I like to remember um, this, this part of a circle is sort of got a musical um, spin to it is that a chord I just remember sort of a guitar strings basically now the last part we're going to look at is this one here and it's just a line that curves round part of our circle so it doesn't go all the way round that would be our circumference but it just goes part of the way round and the name for this is an arc so I don't think I need to give an ex explanation as to why this is called an arc because you can see it just arcs round and it can be any length so it could be really short, it could just be a small arc like this, or it could go all the way around until we get to here, but it just doesn't go back to the start because that would be the circumference. Okay, so now give yourself a little test. How many of these eight parts of the circle can you remember? Pause the video and see if you can work out each one. So how did you get on with those eight? Hopefully you got them all right, but if not, don't worry. A lot of the time with this sort of thing, the more you use these different terms, um, the more ingrained they get. So hopefully it won't be long until, you know, you know these off by heart. So hope you enjoyed that and hope, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.